Yo, what is going on guys? I decided to bring you an assorted pack opening video instead of just randomly doing the player premium pack opening. I decided to add a bunch of them because last pack opening video I did, I wasn't too happy about. I only opened like two packs and yeah, sorry about that, but that's all I did at the time. And this time I decided to open, I believe, four or three of these big packs as well as a ton of other stuff. So there's about 15, 10 packs in here. So Hopefully you enjoy, there's some good stuff in here as well, but nothing too amazing, but you'll have to see what I do pull. In this regular gold pack, we pull a Invander Kane, who's a good card, nothing too amazing, but an Evander Kane, so pretty cool, pretty cool, so that's a pretty decent pull. And we open another player premium pack, hoping for something good, and in this pack we get an 88 overall, so that's good, but not the card I wanted, or the player I wanted, an 87 Giordano, again, not the player I wanted, pretty good overall. But not a terrible pack, but for 60,000 coins, no, it's not worth it at all. We next open a 17.5k pack, and in this pack, we acquire 1,000 coins and 15 duration as our top two items. Then we decide to open another 60,000 coin pack, and in this pack, we get... Oh man, just... These packs were not too great. We get a Tarasenka who's... I mean, he's a really, really good player, but 85 overall, not worth that much. And then we open another pack, which is a 17.5k pack, and I don't know what I was going into this pack expecting, but was not expecting an 81 overall to be my top player. Again, people say the same stuff after every pack. I know I do. You're like, why is this my top player? Is this even real? Like, YOLO, and then all this stuff, but... It's the packs. They're always going to be the exact same. They're not going to give you a 90 overall in every pack because then people wouldn't need to keep buying packs and the whole market would be all messed up. But right now, this is their greatest way of making people want to open them so bad because the chances of getting something good are so low. But pulling a John Scott is just something really, really amazing and you don't really expect to pull it too often. So pretty happy about getting him. Otherwise, this pack opening so far has not been too great. Was hoping for a really good player or... Maybe a good item, like a golden ticket. That was the first one I got this year. I don't know how long they've been out for, but I believe I got 50,000 coins from it. I believe it was 50,000 coins. I could be wrong, but that was the best item we pulled so far, which is a ticket. But, I mean, still pretty good, even though it is not even worth the value of one of those premium packs. But, I mean, still wasn't a complete failure. We do end up pulling that. We got Evander Kane and some other decent cards. And then in this pack, we get a Henrik, which is not really worth anything at all. And this pack would be the end of getting anything good. Then we finish off with a player premium pack. This is the fourth or fifth one we open. Really, 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 really hoping to pull an 89, 90 overall. And we pull, as you can see, nothing. <laughs> we get Jonathan Bernie as our best player. And uh, he's only worth 1k now. So not a very good pack opening, but I decided to put a lot in for you guys. Instead of being a 60, no, not 60, not even. It was like a 30, 40 second video. We decided to give you, well, I decided to give you like a three minute video, which again, it's not the longest, but I decided to just throw a lot of stuff in. And I hope you guys enjoy this. And I want to know what you got in those pack openings, the player premium pack openings. Like what is your best pull bin? Because I'm actually curious to see what people have gotten. I know this one guy pulled like 390s, which is unreal, so I'm just just curious to see what you guys got. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, and I'll see you guys next time.